My newest, most exciting restaurant adventure is a fried chicken concept that I don't think the world has ever seen before. Who's hungry? And I'm on the hunt for a new brand ambassador, an uber-talented entrepreneur that can prove that he or she can spread their wings and run my next franchise... Oh, run his franchise. That was celebrity <laughs> chef Guy Fieri talking about his new Food Network show, Guy's Chance of a Lifetime, an intense job interview like we've never seen before. Local entrepreneur Chelsea Sergeant Lira is a candidate to bring his business to Houston, and she joins us now to chat about this incredible opportunity. Chelsea, it is so nice to meet you in person. Hi. <laughs> and we've seen you on Houston Life before because you work with the Dumpling Dudes. Yes. yes. Let's talk about your time in the kitchen because these competition shows, it stresses me out just watching them, <laughs> oh, right? Me too. I don't like watching yeah. How is your experience nervous. doing this? Because you're really good at what you do. It's totally different, though, when you have to do it in front of a television And crew. timed. Yes. And yes. timed, right? You're being yeah. timed. And this is a show unlike any other competition show because it's a job interview. So it's not just me cooking, which I'm really great at, because it's all these other elements that they add into it. It's never been done. They've never done a show like this before. So hold on. You're saying a job interview from Guy Fieri. So like... Like, I know you're supposed to impress the person you're trying to work for. What do you even start with with Guy Fieri? I mean, How do you impress him? You have blue hair. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. He's a big fan of being out there and being true to yourself. So that's exactly how I tried to be throughout the whole entire um, process. And it's different because nobody really gets eliminated. So you have it's you're not really in competition in a way. I mean, they're your candidates, so they're not your um, competition. So we all, you know, just had to work with each other and just try to learn because there was just so much challenging things that they threw at us. Okay, you definitely piqued our interest. We will be tuning in to watch the show. <laughs> Let's talk about your road to Houston, Chelsea, because this is really interesting. Your dad is a petroleum engineer so you really grew up all around the world oh yes you played golf in oh, college yeah. I had a full ride golf wow. scholarship okay. I didn't go to culinary school because they don't give golf like scholarships culinary school yeah so uh, connect the dots for us how did you go from golf to cooking and what did you find that the cooking world offered you personally well I always wanted to cook I didn't really have drive to go to college and do it but I, since I had a scholarship my dad was like you need to you know finish this and it really helped me get into all my other jobs after college because I you know finished my degree and then I just worked my way up in the kitchen I didn't go to culinary school but I've I mean I started from the bottom I've been doing this for now oh, 14 years so um, well you've got your own spot Houston grazing tables tell everybody kind of what that means what is a grazing table so grazing table is just like everything that you could want to graze on so our concept is kind of like cold food we don't put out hot chafing dishes because then it could sit it doesn't spoil and you can graze for up to four hours on a beautiful presentation I mean it's all about you look with your eyes first and I get so excited seeing people's reactions to when we set up the grazing tables because they're beautiful I mean that's why I love doing it. it's like a piece of art they do look beautiful and I know they take a lot of time to put together you <laughs> want to win this competition show and one of your dreams is to own a, a chicken guy franchise yeah I want to bring one to Houston and I mean it's such a cool concept it's fresh food it's like fast but it's never been frozen it's brine chicken that you, you don't really get at other places it's absolutely just delicious and it's a guy Fieri franchise I mean he's so amazing <laughs> he's got all these contestants though he's gonna literally say you're you're hired I'm choosing you and yeah, I'm waiting yeah. For. okay basically they they that's the the thing that's what they tell us. So we, whoever wins, will get keys to the kingdom. So. Well, listen. Oh. Of course, we're rooting for you, Chelsea. You're going to be phenomenal. It's great having you, you in studio. Before we let you go, though, we want to test your knowledge, okay, <laughs> okay? About the mayor of Flavor Town himself. So Lauren yeah, and I, I, I know a little bit. We'll see how I do. Okay, all right. We're going to put you uh, to the test in a little game we like to call Rapid Fieri. Okay. Get it? Get it? Like it, it is a rapid fire. I yes, it. it is simple. We're going to read a fact about. Guy Fieri and using your paddle, Beatrice oh, is going to okay, hand you right you. now. You tell us if the statement is true or false. Okay. Okay. Let's All do right. It. Okay. So I'm going to start with the first question. Although he is a confessed carnivore, when he was younger, Guy Fieri's family was not. Oh yes, true. Yeah, that is true. Ooh. Guy constantly okay. battled with his veggie-loving mom. He has said to FoodNetwork.com, my parents were all into macrobiotic cooking, natural cooking. My sister was vegetarian. I wasn't down with that. His picks, meatballs, pork chops, chicken parm, and steak. Yeah, sounds like flavor <laughs> town to me. All right, all right, here we go. Question number two. Before becoming a chef, Guy Fieri worked in the White House. Oh, that's false. 
That is correct. Guy, <laughs> Guy actually sold pretzels and wash dishes for six years to earn money to study in Chantilly, France. However, Ina Garden, Barefoot Contessa, did work in the White House Office of Management and Budget before buying specialty food stores. I, and love, I love her. So hey. cool. Different hey. celebrity chef. Okay, okay, I think we have time for one more. Okay. Guy Fieri had a syndicated newspaper column until 2019. True or false? I think that's false. I don't know about that one. Yeah, that was actually Wolfgang Puck who oh. had a syndicated column called Wolfgang Puck's Kitchen. It appeared in 30 newspapers in the U.S., Canada, reaching more than 5.3 million people every single cool. week. I like this. Three out of three. Chelsea, I think guys should just hire you on the spot after that, right? <laughs> Chelsea, Sergeant Lyra, it's great to finally meet you yes. in person. We are rooting for you, and uh, we know you're going to do it. Thank you so much. Yeah, go all the way. Bring one to Houston. So. Absolutely, girl. We're rooting for you. All right, so catch Chelsea on Guy's Chance of a Lifetime Sunday at 8 p.m. on Food Network. And for more information, visit Seen on Houston Life section of our website at HoustonLife.tv. So exciting. So exciting. All right, after the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show when we'll save you money on your next vacation. All right, as we head to break, let's check in with Kevin Frazier for a look at what's coming up on entertainment tonight, including celeb couple news. Hey, Kevin.